Hey guys, it's me Mabel, of course, of course, and in this video, I'm playing Valheim, the new Hearth and Home update, and I'm going to try to read this quickly. Long ago, the old father Odin united the worlds. He threw down his foes and cast them into the tenth world and split the boughs that held their prison to the world tree and left it adrift on Acred, a place of exile. For centuries this world summered uneasily, but it did not die as glacial age passed, and I missed that part. When Odin heard his enemies were growing again in strength, he was like, yeah, yep, it's going too fast, I can't keep up. In Valheim. There we go. I tried, but, you know, the intro took too long. And now we're getting dragged along, oh so majestically, through the skies by this awesome looking Valkyrie. Elephant. So cool looking. Um, now I've played about three to four hours of this update on a multiplayer world that I was streaming the other day with my fiance Michelle. We didn't get too far Mostly because Michelle loves building. Um, so while she was building the house, I was doing what I could, getting distracted by everything. Um, I'm not going to read these too much because I've read them before and they're not really the most useful information ever. This is a very uh, watery world. Never spawned next to the water before, not this close. So this is interesting. Alright, to start off, I'm going to look around for the basic resources. And dilute what I can. Got some flint, got some feathers. I need flint, stone, and wood. There's some stone. And food is always welcome. And this Valkyrie, Hugin, is not going to leave me alone. I'm going to take out this torch and kill this boy. Well, ran into the water. I mean, smart move on its part. We got some wood. Got some more. Coming back for seconds. Come back here. Yeah. Saw the torch and ran. Most items must be crafted, blah 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 blah. So, besides collecting food and gathering resources, um, come on, come on, come here, come here. Dang it, alright, nope. If I have a, my back turned, Come on. You're gonna come and attack me, aren't you? Oh, oh no. Don't know where that guy came from. Oh my goodness. There we go, I killed it. So we got some leather scraps and boar meat. And come here. They have rebalanced food a little bit. They've added some new items. Well, they've added two new, not two new, twelve new food items, or uh, consumable items, I guess. Um, and then there's a whole change log and patch notes that I could get into, but I can't remember it off the top of my head, and I'm going to focus on playing the game. So, I'm collecting a good amount of stone. Got an okay amount of flint. Um, food over there. Resources I'm not going to be using for a little bit. Um, I can't kill that deer with my fists easily. So, ooh, mushrooms. Um, I can eat some of those. I can craft myself a hammer. And I like to get enough wood 
to build a stone axe. Every time anything happens, that crew has to show up. Kinda wish you could turn that off for multiple playthroughs unless they had something new. Which I don't know if any of the tooltips are new. I'm not gonna sit there and read all of them. I never do that, which is why I get confused in all these games. I'm just sort of mindlessly wandering around. This isn't in the wrong direction, uh, away from Ichthyr, so... I could head towards Ichthyr and try to make a my initial house near the boss. Uh, wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. So I can always move my house. Or just move in general. Lots of flint around here, I like it. I'm gonna need a lot of flint. It's one thing you can never get enough of until you do. Beautiful. Let's craft, well, I may not need to craft a stone egg, so I can probably go straight to flint. Um, really weird. Okay, so let's put down, well, I need more wood. So, clearly, an axe would help me get more wood. But I can just run around collecting driftwood until I have enough. Um, although that would take a while. So I will just give in and I will make the stone axe. And I'm going to chop down that tree right there. It's probably going to kill me. And they have not changed tree physics. I believe they said that, um, Michelle has explained to me that they said they were never going to change it because they believe that that is the identity of the game now. Is these derpy trees that bounce around and fly all over the place or sometimes just stay perfectly still magically. Or they'll take down the entire forest along with them which has happened on a few occasions, like that, oh, oh, jeez, oh, Jesus, okay, um, yeah, it gets crazy in Valheim, okay then, that's stuck up in the tree, so I'm gonna get an okay amount of wood, considering that uh, the trees are cutting themselves down for me. I wonder, can I climb this log to get to the other one? Nope, not really. I'm not gonna worry about the stumps, because I'm gonna be leaving this area and... Who cares? And regain some stamina. Chopping twice. We're chopping both of them at the same time. Heck yeah. Efficiency. I think my damage is getting spread across too. So I don't know if that was more efficient or not, but it felt like it. Alright, so I got 70 wood right there. That's pretty nice. Um, one thing I can do with the axe is I can use it to kill boars and deer. I'm gonna try to increase my sneak skill while I have a chance. <laughs> Got a deer and a bull. Oh, sweet. One shot the deer. And they have added specific deer meat now. So it's no longer just 
meat across the board, there's actually a difference. And deer meat is better than boar meat, just slightly. And neck meat is uh, just under boar meat. And you can see all the different values now as well, and they have different icons, colored icons, when they're edible, to indicate what they added most. And I believe I can't really see that color because I have like a uh, a screen I what's the term? It's called the flux. F dot lux. It, it reduces eye strain, that's what I want to say. But I think that might be yellow. Um, and that gives it a good amount of stamina and a good amount of health. And I believe these berries... Now it's more of like a... I think that's gray. Or white. And this gives a lot more stamina. Well, it gives five more stamina and eight less health. So raspberries aren't the best in their plain, just picked form. Probably want to process that into jelly later on. And pies, I think, because they added a, um, an oven to cook food in, like bread. So now it's time to pick a place to put a base, and I want to get a little bit closer to Ichthyr before I do that. Oh boy. Let's nom on some berries here, and let's take out some of these boar. Heck yeah. That boar didn't notice me. We can use this as an opportunity. I was hoping to level up Sneak a little bit there, but maybe I got some experience towards it. Not sure. You can see Nex out there swimming about just over the reeds. And, you know, while I'm over here, I might as well pick up Flint. I wonder if they've added any more, like, serpents or something secretly. Without telling anybody. Man, the serpent fight was so cool the first few times that we ran into a serpent. Absolutely terrifying. Like the first time we ran into a troll. We were so scared. It was in the middle of the night. We just discovered the black forest. And this giant blue creature that I could barely see just started coming right at me. Oh boy. Okay, um... Let's put down this. <laughs> Science. Stonks. Alright, take all. What you doing? Get over here. I just unlocked a lot of building options because I put down the workbench. They've added a few new options here. Well, I know that they added the inverted upside down um, wood wall angles, which is very nice. I don't know if they've added anything else here. I'm not seeing too much. Um, that's new. Uh, they have the coin piles, which... The massive coin pile takes nearly a thousand. This coin stack only takes a hundred. Um, I probably could have broke that down more, but I don't really need the supplies all that much. I just wanted the, uh, the bees and the honey. Which bees? The uh, honey gives a lot of stamina. Which I suppose makes sense, the way that they're kind of doing it. Is that uh, the carbs give you more energy? Well, it seems like anything that might have more substance to it will give you more health. 
which makes a lot of sense. My goodness, Jojo, what was that? What's up, buddy? You really want attention, huh? I swear, I never get this cat meowing at me for attention unless I'm recording. He, maybe he, he's worried about my mental health or something. Because I'm just talking to myself quietly. He's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Is that what's going on, Jojo? That must be what's going on. Meow. Man, this game is so beautiful. It's got this, like, refined moonscape look to it. Oh my god, Jojo. Come here. Come on my lap. There you go. Shut up. I love you, but I'm recording right now, dude. Yeah, no, you're dying for attention. Check out this hut over here. It might have something good in it. Oh, more bees. Maybe if I start... Oh. Okay. Well, that's just a pain in the ass. Yeah, it's not gonna work like that. Oh my god, Jojo. Oh my goodness. There we go. Took care of the bees. Oh my god, what are you doing? Lay down. Lay down. There's enough room on my legs. Come on. <laughs> this cat, I swear. Big fat orange cat. It's like Garfield. Okay, so this is Ichthyr's shrine. Um, if I get to deer head, I can summon the boss. But I'm not gonna do that for a bit. Might not get it get to that in this video, I probably won't. Um That's more like a, at least a second video kind of thing. Considering this is ASMR and not uh you know, just purely for entertainment. I'm definitely gonna go slow. I'm gonna take my time. I'm not gonna try to play off, uh, you know, off stream. I wanna say off stream. Um, I won't record. No, god damn it. I won't play without recording. There we go, that's what I wanted to say. It's telling me I was carrying too much. Thank you for that. I couldn't tell that. My own. Alright, so. Um. This is a nice spot because it's near water. And I want to be able to make a dock. And set off a boat. Oh, you know it would be cool have a little dock here, and then a dock, uh, not necessarily a dock, a bridge. A bridge right here. And I could have like a little tower on this island. And I could have the bridge go all the way over there too. And I could have my main house on that island. I would be very protected from anything I wanted to attack. Trolls don't swim. I don't think I've seen graylings and gray dwarfs swim. Um, that's going to be a later task, though, because I do not have enough stamina for this. And this is uh, dangerous, because if you run out of stamina while swimming, you will drown and die. Uh, I don't think it's immediate, but you know, I don't want to take that kind of damage, because I am... Fairly weak. 
just saved. Alright, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my first base right over here. I forgot my inventory is full. I'm going to put the workbench right there. And fine, I'll talk to you now. There you go. Now leave me alone, Hugin. I'll put that down to upgrade it. That takes us to a few new recipes. And I can put a beehive nearby and put it right here. And that way I got a food source. Um, thankfully you don't starve in this. But, uh, you know, it's... You need food, otherwise your health and your stamina will be nothing. Alright, so... Um, I will probably actually move all of that once I get this going. Although, I might want to build a, a hoe so that I can um, flatten terrain if I want to do this right. So what I'm going to do here... Oh my god, Hugin. I know I'm cold. I'll build a fire. Station's too exposed. Oh no. Station's too exposed. Okay. Let's try putting it like that. Get rid of that. Um, put down this wall right here. Station to expose still. This is probably the most frustrating part of Alheim. Um, so I need to put down the workbench again, but I can't put it down there anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this in such a sloppy way. Alright, so let's, let's try to do this a little bit better. Um, you can't really see that too well. Never mind. That's too dark. I can't see anything. I'm just going to build a little hut for this. If this doesn't work, I will be upset. Okay, there we go. And now I want a, a hoe and a flint axe, even though it's not too important right now. You know what? I can wait on that one. Um, I'm going to use the hoe. Oh my goodness. Yes, I know. I know. Go over here to pick up those rocks. And... Oh my goodness, how many times? You're the most annoying NPC, I swear to god. I'm just gonna flatten this area out a bit. There's a big rock right there, which is going to be annoying, but I can manage. Maybe I can put down a... Standing torch. Nope, I need resin. And I have not killed enough of those graylings. So you probably can't even see anything. I mean, sorry about that. I'm going to try to fix that soon. 
and the cow that's falling apart because I got rid of its uh, foundation. All right. I guess I can use these stones for reference. Um, first put this crafting bench right there, then I will put down the flooring, which I'm going to do um, a 3x3 three three for right now. Just to get myself situated. I might have two doors. Yeah, I'll have a door right there and a door right there. Alright. And then I'm going to have this higher roof. There we go. And I could probably fit a campfire right in the middle if I wanted to. But I think what I'm going to do is try to get up on the roof and no, that's not going to work too well. I'm going to have to put like a little platform down. Um, another one. And let's put one of these. It's not going to look pretty. Um, I could actually probably make it look a little pretty. That's a bit better. What I'm going to do is have this area right here, just flatten that out, and put down the campfire, now you can see a bit better, and let's put down the bed, there is not a second where that raven, valkyrie, whatever, isn't just Harassing me. Alright, so in Valheim you do have to worry about smoke. If you put a campfire inside your house, you will kill yourself if you do not have proper ventilation. So be very careful. Don't um, suffocate yourself. You know, this is good, uh, good lessons for life, just in general. Um, okay, this is not a big enough house, I am very quickly realizing. Uh, oh boy. Where am I going to put this thing? Okay, I'm not going to... I'm not going to have two uh, doors. Or if I do, I'm going to have it over here. No, nope, there is a rock right there, so this is just going to be a wall. I could make it a window, but it's fine. Don't need to worry too much about the design of this house. It's my very first little abode. And this is going to have... I need some kind of rain protection for it, and I'm running out of wood. I'm surprised I had enough wood to build all of that. So you have to make it a cooking station. Somehow, or I could have a cooking station outside. Choices, choices. Chop, chop. And I didn't have a video decided for yesterday. 
until Michelle got a satisfactory. So I think tomorrow's video is going to be satisfactory. I'm going to check the time really quickly. It is very late. I don't want to end this video yet because I haven't done a lot. But, you know, it is ASMR and I will be coming back to this, uh, to this save, to this character. So it's not the end. Um, go away, railing. Okay. You could eat another bite. Okay. I could eat the honey. Don't know if I want to do that. Do I have enough to make another beehive? Yes, I do. I could have crafted two of those. That's still empty. Uh, it's not necessary to eat that right now. The mushrooms and the raspberries are doing just fine. I think one thing I'm going to do here is, is put down this little barrier. And that. Oh, that's not going to be enough. I could do this. That might be enough. I don't know if the smoke will still escape. Only one way to find out if it's getting smoky in here. Doesn't look like it. So that is working effectively. You know, I'd have to have like some sort of gutter system right there, realistically, to keep that dry. But, you know, I wouldn't be doing it like this. Um, either. This is, um, very strange. Alright. That's fine for right now. Now I can go and put down this crafting upgrade. And I can also... Well, well I don't have enough wood. Do I have enough wood to put down a cooking station? Yes, I do. I should be able to put a cooking station right here. No, no. Okay, that doesn't count. There we go. I'm gonna cook up some meat. I don't have a lot. I'll just cook up these two, and then I'll go get some more wood. And... I mean, I don't know what else I can do in a short period of time to wrap this up in any spectacular way. Alright, we got cooked boar meat. That one's red. This one increases health by 30. So that's going to be really useful for... Um, boss fights and just tanking in general. It's considering I'm by myself, I'm probably going to look forward to using the bow and probably um, the shield and like a sword or an axe. Um, just to be extra tanky. Because I don't want to die. Jeez. Alright then. That was interesting. Another cool thing that they did is you can now plant birch and oak trees. So these trees that you can get fine wood from, you can get seeds and you can plant them now. Like, these are beech trees, but once I have a metal axe that can chop down a birch tree and an oak tree, I can start planting those for fine wood. And fine wood is used in a lot of uh, 
furniture crafting, and eventually, I think some. Uh, I don't know if you use it in weapons. You might use it in weapons. I know it's used in furniture, but I don't know if there's anything else. So I'm done chopping down these trees. Processing them. Um... I'm gonna go back home. And first, let's repair. And I was going to do something. What was I gonna do here? Ah, yes, I was gonna make myself a chest to start storing items. And then, one thing that would not be a bad idea is to have some kind of defensive measure. I don't know when I'm going to start getting attacks, but having at least the basic round pull fence should help quite significantly with those graylings and boars. Um, and snake, uh, not snakes, necks, if they ever become an issue. And I don't necessarily need to make a closed fence circle with a gate. Um, just sort of protecting around the house. They could have like a closed off backyard kind of thing if I added like a door right there or a door right here. We could do something like that and add a tiny little roof to it. Um, I forgot how to do this. I know there was a method Ah, yeah, it's like this. There we go. That should protect it from the rain. Alright. And now I can close this off over here. To have my own little garden eventually. That's pretty well protected. A backyard of sorts that I can eventually plant some stuff in. I won't have the bees over there. Um, I don't think I need them to be over there. But yeah, I hope that this video has been entertaining. Well, I hope it's been relaxing more so. Either way, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more Valheim, let me know in the comments down below. I really rely on your feedback to know whether or not I'm doing a good job. Um, you know, I know I'm not an amazing YouTuber or anything, but to at least know that people are enjoying it and that it's worth doing always helps. And it helps to know if you like the game that I'm recording at the time as well, because I know a lot of people like Dead by Daylight and Rainbow Six Siege, because I've been told that, and it gets a lot of views in comparison to a lot of other games. Um, so yeah, any feedback, all the feedback is greatly appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. And I play some satisfactory. Bye bye.